Sarah and her friends, Mark, Tina, and Becky, were all packed and ready for their camping trip. They had been planning it for months and were excited to finally be able to go. They said their goodbyes to Sarah's parents and set off. The drive there was uneventful and they arrived at the campsite in no time. They set up their tents and then went exploring. The woods were beautiful and they had a great time hiking around and taking in the sights. As the sun started to set, they decided to head back to their campsite. It was then that they heard the howls. At first they thought it was just a coyote, but then they realized that there were too many of them. And they sounded closer than a coyote should be. They started to run back to the campsite, but it was too late. The pack of werewolves was already there, waiting for them. Sarah and her friends were in for a long night. The werewolves attacked Sarah and her friends, but they were able to fight them off. Sarah was bitten by one of the werewolves, but Mark was able to kill it before it could do any more damage. They all went back to their tents and tried to get some sleep, but it was hard with the sounds of the werewolves howling in the distance. In the morning, they packed up their things and left the campsite. Sarah was different now. The bite had turned her into a werewolf too. She would have to learn to control her new powers if she wanted to protect her friends and family from the other werewolves out there. The group decided to head back to town. Sarah was having a hard time dealing with her new werewolf form, but she didn't want to hurt her friends. On the way back, they were attacked by a group of werewolves. Sarah managed to hold them off long enough for her friends to get away. She was seriously wounded in the process, but she survived. Sarah's friends got her to a hospital where she was treated for her wounds. The doctors told her that she would be fine and that she would need to take some time to recover. Sarah was relieved that she was going to be okay. She was also happy that her friends had managed to get away safely. Sarah's friends told her what had happened after she had been attacked. They had all run into the woods and managed to lose the werewolves. They had then made their way back to the campsite and packed up their things. They had then driven back to Sarah's house and dropped her off. Sarah's parents had been very worried about her, but they were relieved that she was safe. Sarah begins to feel different after she is attacked by the werewolf. She starts to feel more feral and her senses are sharper. She also starts to crave raw meat. Her friends are worried about her and they all decide to go to the hospital to get her checked out. The doctors at the hospital tell Sarah that she is going to be fine. They say that she was lucky and that the werewolf's bite didn't kill her. They also tell her that she is going to have to be careful from now on, because she is now a carrier of the lycanthrope virus. Sarah's friends all decide to go back to the campsite to pack up their things. They are worried about Sarah and they want to make sure that she is going to be okay. They drive back to Sarah's house and drop her off. Sarah's parents are relieved that she is safe. Sarah's friends tell her what happened after she was attacked by the werewolves. They all ran into the woods and managed to lose the werewolves. They made their way back to the campsite and packed up their things. Sarah is grateful to her friends for saving her. She knows that she would have been killed if they hadn't been there. 